सो हेलो यू पी एस सी एस्पायरेंस अगैन इन दभिमन्य आई एस मेरा नाम प्रवेश वत्स है और हर बार की तरह मैं एक इशू एनालिसिस का टॉपिक लेकर आता हूँ तो आज का हमारा टॉपिक है एफ्सपा नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट ये हमारा ऐसा टॉपिक है विच टाइम एंड अगेन अपीयर्स इन द मेन्स एग्जाम ऑफ द यू पी एस सी सो लेट सी दिस एंड दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू जॉइन आर मॉड्यूल एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन इज मैंशन ऑन दिस शार्ट सो प्लीज़ मे लुक इट वट आर द सेलेंट फीचर्स ऑफ दिस एक्ट आर्म फोर्स स्पेशल प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट नाइनटीन सो फर्स्ट हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड इट इज़ इन द कॉलोनियल टाइम्स वैन वी हैड द कॉलोनियल टाइम पीरियड सो द कॉलोनियल गवर्नमेंट मेड द ऑर्डिनेंसेस विच एम टू सप्रेस क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट ऑफ नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू राइट सो इट हैज़ एन इंसेप्शन फ्रॉम देयर देन इट गिवस पावर टू द आर्म्ड फोर्सेज टू ओपन फायर इवन कॉजिंग डेथ अगेंस्ट एनी पर्सन इन कॉन्ट्रावेंशन टू लॉ एंड कैरिंग आर्म्स और एनी एम्यूनिशन थर्ड टू अरेस्ट इंडिविजुअल्स विदाउट वॉरेंट्स सो दिस इज अ डिबेटेबल एक्ट ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट इज गिविंग स्वीपिंग पावर्स टू द आर्म फोर्सेज फर्स्ट आई जस्ट मैंशन टू ओपन फायर देन टू कोज डेथ एंड देन अरेस्ट विदाउट वॉरेंट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रीजनेबल सस्पीशन राइट इफ आर्म फोर्सेज हैव सस्पीशन ऑन सम वन दैट ही इज अगेंस्ट द कंट्री सो दे मे अरेस्ट दैट पर्सन विदाउट एनी वॉरेंट एंड दे कैन सर्च प्रिमाइस विदाउट वॉरेंट्स ऑल्सो आफ्टर दिस इट कैन बी इम्पोज इन डिस्टर्ब एरियाज विच विल बी डिक्लेयर अंडर सेक्शन थ्री बाय द सेंटर or the governor of a state on the state in part of any state which simply means that the center is very much competent to declare any area as disturbed area aur us area mein hum apps pa lagu karte hain chahe wo kisi state ka part ho ya pura state kyon na ho then it was mainly imposed in north east to curb the naga insurgency and counter insurgency movements because our north is is affected by the inter insurgency movements whether we have the naga insurgency or we have the counter insurgency is operation which you know every time goes on by the army and by the different paramilitary forces then a amendment kiya gaya tha in the year 1972 which gave concurrent powers to center as well as states to declare an area as disturbed area because i just mentioned that before that only the center was competent and the governor of a state was competent to declare an area as a disturbed area under the section 3 of afs pact but now the state government is very much competent to declare currently minister of home affairs issued periodic disturbed area notification to extend the afs pact for nagaland and arunachal so only in nagaland and only in arunachal pradesh the mha guideline will be working on the notification for manipur and assam is issued by the state governments so i just mentioned that state and you know center government both are competent to issue a notification to declare an area as a disturbed area tripura revoked the act in 2015 and meghalaya was under afspa for 27 years so you can see that for how many years the afspa was established in the state of meghalaya so it was revoked in the meghalaya also on the 1 april 2018 सो so, अब लगभग हमारे यहाँ जो एफ्सपा है वो कहीं ना कहीं घटता जा रहा है एंड उसका जो सुजरैनिटी उसका जो जुरिस्डिक्शन है दैट इज़ कमिंग टू अ स्मॉल एक्सटेंट आफ्टर दिस रोल ऑफ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स एंड पुलिस अथॉरिटीज जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की एग्जीक्यूटिव एजेंसीज होती हैं जो हमारी पुलिस एजेंसीज होती हैं उनका भी कोई रोल होता है या नहीं होता लेट सी दिस दो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कैन यूनिलेटरल टेक डिसीजन इन टू द एफ्सपा बट नाउ यूजली डन इनफॉर्मली इन कंसल्टेशन विद state government as i just mentioned and take actions after receiving their recommendations so this is a kind of checks and balance on the center's power to declare the afspa in any area the reason being now they have to take the state government into the very confidence that we want to you know declare an area as a disturbed area for the afspa and you please give us a recommendation in the writing then coordination with the local police under this fire not to be done without prior warning given to the suspect this is the first thing you have to give the warning then security forces have to hand over the suspect to the local police station within 24 hours right so again this is a kind of reformation in the afspa act to meet the rising demands against the afspa act by the people and by the government armed forces must act in cooperation with the district administration which is your sdm and dm level authorities and not as an independent body which simply means that armed forces are not now competent to misuse the power under the afspa act and they have to use it judiciously for the national interest 
then demands for withdrawal time and again we see the criticism in the debates in the medias in the newspaper articles that please revoke the afspa so why we really want to revoke it so let's see first security situation has improved and fast track development is taking place across the area due to the consistent efforts and several agreements to end insurgency time and again we see in the media that insurgency groups called by the governments to come on a table and to talk in a very diplomatic in a very peaceful manner to stop the minis of the people right so these kind of governments initiative have been taken on because of which now we can say that insurgency is not that kind of which was earlier then north east has lived under the shadow of afspa for nearly 60 years so they have a sense of deprivation and alienation also a sense of detachment from the rest of the country whenever we meet someone from the north east so they have a kind of alienation from the you know from the major part of the land of the india they do not able to come in a, in a intimate connection with the rest of the country which is a major cause of resentment among these people third it will help demilitarize the region because what happens if you challenge someone so the other person also challenges you and if you are challenging by the gun other person will also challenge you by the gun so if you will curb the menace of you know insurgency then it will help demilitarizing the regions and will restrict on movements through checkpoints and frisking of resident more liberty and peaceful state of mind will be given to the natives more peace will happen more liberties would be given more happiness will come more development will come and everything will be happier and then we can assume that north is will become an actual and an practical integral part of india which is not considered now for the time being then misuse of that incidents of violence recorded in the northeastern states examples fake encounters forceful rapes in the region which even judiciary found happening in various verdicts every time we see that number of cases comes into the supreme court in the high courts regarding the afspa about the inefficacy use of the powers which are provided in the afspa by the security forces it is a kind of rhetoric or a story that uh, people say that uh, trains goes to the north east and uh, people do all such kind of social ills with the people of north east the reason being the afspa is there and they have been provided the extraordinary powers to arrest someone to kill someone to shot someone then bypassing of state there are instances when the center has overruled the states and their permissions in the written recommendations we declared such as the imposition of afspa in tripura in 1972 where the declaration was just unanimously taken by the central government and no recommendation and no confidence was taken of the state government no constitutional sanctions to the act there is no way of mention in the constitution in any provision about the afspa act right hence it is a deliberate attempt by the executive or the government to suppress the constitutional rights of the people this is a major demand by the people who really belongs uh, to northeast and who really belongs to the sensitive section of india or the sensitive section of society who really wants to work for the humanitarian purpose and they have a perception that afspa should be withdrawn or afspa afspa should be contained in a very in a very judicious and in a very limited manner after this what we have to say is examine of afspa by various commissions what are the various commissions constituted on the practicability and legality of the afspa let's see one by one supreme court led panel under justice reddy in 2004 it recommended to abolish this act unhone simply bola ki isko abolish kariye and cited is it as a symbol of oppression on the people because examples humne dekhe rape hote hain by the military by the by the security forces some of the security forces personnel and deliberate firings bhi kar di jati hain then national commission to review the constitution under virappa moili it also reinstated the same demand of its repeal ki hame isko hatana chahiye the reasoning there is a lot of resentment among the people of the north east against the afspa national human rights commission they give timely recommendation to government to act on the human rights violation which are done by the some of the individuals and some of the personnel of the security forces under the name of afspa various international reports and agencies are apprehended of this act and its depressing provisions because of its sweeping powers which gives an upper hand to the security forces to misuse also because it is generally said that power corrupts and absolute powers corrupts absolutely so if you will not give a power in a very constrained manner to someone it will make that person corrupt 
and even absolute corrupt also then initiatives government of india have taken what are the various initiatives they have taken is union government has partially withdrawn the act from part of three north eastern north eastern state assam nagaland and manipur so now only very limited part is under the afspa the government is understanding the demands and the aspirations of the society and they are trying to curtail the afspa in a very gradual manner but remains in parts of these three states kuch kuch parts mein inke bhi hai and arunachal mein aur jammu kashmir mein bhi hai hamare yahan afspa iske baad way forward what we need to really do to provide the systematized governance to the people and a trust efficiency into the people so it is a union's responsibility to maintain unity integrity sovereignty establish law order but but should try to take all stakeholders into confidence to do so hame ye nahi karna chahiye ki only union protects these kind of things and only union cares about the integrity of the country states are also the integral part and they also cares about the integrity sovereignty of the country so unka bhi confidence lena chahiye union government ko sath mein baith ke ek policy banani chahiye then should take into account civil society and state governments into confidence jo hamari civil society is like hamare ngos hain hamare self help groups hain hamari social media ke jo alag alag groups hain hamare jo regional associations hain unka bhi ek bhagidari honi chahiye jab is tarike ka koi act implement ho ya uski monitoring ki baat aaye judicious implementation of that with proper checks and balance there should be proper checks and balance should be introduced by the introducing some new provisions strict enforcement of the law and apart from that some judicious and quasi judicial authorities should be given an upper hand on the afspa also the government should work on trust building mechanisms by providing free space education other human development mechanisms if we really want to make this country a heaven if we, if the union's responsibility is to maintain integrity sovereignty and law and order so they have to work on these areas they have to provide free space in the form of liberty freedom of speech and expression they have to give education good quality education then they have to create infrastructure human development skill digitalization everything they have to introduce and automatically what will be looking is that our country will transform from insurgency to a heaven and should try to simplify the provisions with full scope of justice and fairness so the personnel of the security forces should also be under the um, should also be under the rule of law which is the fundamental law of the con- uh, fundamental law of the country and everyone should be abiding the constitution and its principles and should try to imbibe the spirit of a true citizen so this much was in the video about the afspa act i think this much is enough to deal any question of means regarding the afspa so this much was for this video thank you so much we'll meet again on a next day thank you <laughs>